Making decisions can be hard, especially if you have many factors to consider. Here is an easy way and a fully prepared template to make it faster for you, increasing your productivity. You can download the template from my website. I left the link for you in the description. You will notice that the downloaded file has the extension XLTX for Excel template as opposed to XLSX for a normal Excel file. Ideally, you save the template in your templates folder. If you double click the template, a new Excel file will be created. You can safely modify this file. If you want to modify the template, you need to right click on it and select Open from the context menu. The template is protected to prevent accidental changes. To unprotect it, go to the menu bar and click on Review and Unprotect Sheet. Let's take a look at the template structure, starting with the title. Replace this with whatever title describes your project or topic the best. Note that the same text will be used as the chart title, which we will see later. The template allows you to compare up to 10 options. For each option, you can define three dimensions, which will be used for drawing the chart. The first dimension and the value for the chart's x-axis is a set of up to five criteria. Initially, this is called criteria group one. Each criterion in a group needs to be weighted. This gives you the flexibility to adjust the relative importance of all criteria inside a group. The total relative weight needs to add up to 100%. The same is true for criteria group 2, which will be used for the chart's y-axis. The third dimension is the option potential and will be used for sizing the bubbles in the chart. All you have to do is to enter your own values for these dimensions. Let's go through this, assuming that we need to pick a new market segment to invest in. To do so, I want to compare three dimensions. Market attractiveness, fit to my current core business and market size. I will enter those for criteria group 1, criteria group 2 and option potential respectively. Now I add the relevant criteria to the first two dimensions. For market attractiveness, that would be growth rate, competitive situation, barrier to entry, and customer loyalty. For fit to the core business, I define synergies with core business, required investments, anchor points, and understanding of the market. Next, I consider which of the criteria inside each group are more or less relevant for my decision. I do this by adding percentages for each criterion. If these percentages do not add up to 100%, you will get a warning. Now it is time to add the various options that I want to compare. In my example, I go with five potential new market segments. Smart home, metaverse, mobility, communication, and blockchain. As I don't have more than five options, I hide the remaining columns. Doing so will also exclude them from being shown in the chart. If you have more or less than five options to compare, you can adjust the column grouping by first activating the column headers. Go to the menu bar and click on View and Headings. Now select the columns you want to group or ungroup, go back to the menu bar and click on Data and group or ungroup. Now it is time to rate each criterion for each option. The rating is done on a scale from 1, worst to 10, best. Keep this in mind when you define your criteria. Once you have entered all the ratings for both criteria groups, you will get a weighted total rating per criteria group for each option. This may sound confusing, but it's really quite simple and will become clear in a second. We get there by multiplying the rating value by the criterion's relative weight and then adding up all the results for each option. The last step is to get our third dimension. The market size. This is a straightforward rating based on the same rules as before. A scale from 1 to 10 where higher values are better. The totals for all three dimensions will be color coded with a heat map, giving you an easy visual way to see how all the options compare within a dimension. Green indicates the better options, red obviously the worse ones. In the end, you will get a bubble chart plotting each of your options along the x and y axes and showing you each option's market size. Of course, this works for all kinds of decisions. I recently used it to compare potential vacation destinations for our family and it worked like a charm. With this template, you can compare up to 10 criteria for a maximum of 10 options. If this is not enough for you, you can always modify the template or, and that's probably better, split your options into groups, run the comparison with each group and then just pick the top favorites from each group and do a final comparison for the top 10. 
This also gives it the additional benefit of having a track record explaining how you came to the ultimate decision. This should allow you to save quite some time and be more productive. However, there are more things we can do to increase our productivity. So go and check out this growing list of ideas, tips and tools for doing so. If you found this video even remotely helpful, perhaps drop a like or even subscribe to the channel. For you it is free and it does help me. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.